Hello, I welcome you all to this uh, wonderful video. Here I have a question uh, which is a 2024 GCE paper for mathematics, uh, a question that came under trigonometry. So we are going to answer this question uh, step by step so that you can all see how uh, this question uh, was supposed to be answered or how it is supposed to be answered. So the question here there is the diagram there. You have PRQ. So PR is 8.9 centimeter. And uh, you can see that RQ is actually 12.5. And you have the angle now, which is angle R. Or we can say angle PRQ is 130.6 degrees. Now the question says calculate P. Q. P, Q. Now, before we even go to calculating P, Q, what we normally do here is to assign the small letter numbers. How do we assign the small letter numbers? You see this uh, capital letter R here. This is used for angles. You can see all the angles on the corners uh, of the triangle. You can see that they are all capital letters. So to assign the small letters, you look at the angle where it is pointing. So this arrow is pointing to PQ, the line PQ. So the line PQ will be assigned actually uh, the small letter R. Okay, the small letter R. So this one here will be a small letter R. Okay, and then to assign now uh, Q. You see Q is facing PR, okay? So this will be small letter what? Q, okay? And then you can also see capital letter P here, the angle is opposite or facing RQ. So this will be a small letter what? P. So after assigning the small letter numbered here, we are now going to see what the question wants us to find. So calculate PQ. Now before we calculate PQ, let us look at the formulas that are given for this uh, type of particular question under trigonometry. Okay, so here we can see that the formulas that are given, and this is for ECZ standard, right? They give us these three formulas, okay? You have one, the formula for finding the uh, so for a formula for finding the triangle ABC. Now, these were developed for a triangle that is of this uh, type, okay? These formulas were developed for a triangle of this type where you have um, here A, okay? Uh, there are B and there are C, okay? And uh, the way these formulas came up, this is uh, pointing this, uh, so this was assigned small letter A, and uh, this one small letter B, and this one small letter C. Yeah, we just want to understand how to apply the formulas. Okay, so this is why you are seeing that the formula has got small letter numbers and uh, capital letter numbers. So let's look at the first formula here. This first formula here, it is called the sine rule. Okay, this one, it is called the sine rule. Okay. First formula here, it is called the sine rule. Okay, now what is the sine rule? Okay, what is the sine rule? And we are going to discuss uh, how this sine rule can apply to this question or not, if it can apply or not. Okay, okay, so the sine rule, let's look at the diagram here if the sine rule can be applied. So the sine rule can only be applied if, okay, you listen to this. Eh? Here you notice that you've been given only one, one angle and two sides, okay? You've been given only an angle and two sides, okay? Now, and you're told to find the, the side, a side which is missing, okay? Now, you cannot apply the sign rule here because for you to find the side that is missing, you are going to need an angle, at least one more angle given, okay? One more angle is supposed to be given here, 
okay because we cannot find if we can use uh, an angle on the side you see a small letter is a side a capital letter is an angle so if we are going to use this we can say we pick a side and an angle and you are finding a side so we need another angle okay to find the other side we need another angle and there's no way of finding the other angle in this part okay so this means that the sign rule okay the sign rule for this particular question was not applicable okay was not applicable here so now let's go to the cosine rule this rule so to call the cosine rule so the cosine rule here you notice that for the cosine rule you just need two sides look at the way the formula is you need two sides and we have two sides we have the side uh, p and we have the side q so you can see that already the formula requires only two sides because if you watch the whole formula here the two sides being used is just b and c b and c and the angle only one angle and we have one angle here so this is actually the formula that was supposed to be uh, used okay so here for solving for a we were supposed to use what we call the cosine what rule now how do we apply the cosine rule seeing that uh, this this formula was developed for a triangle which is a b c i okay so what we are simply going to do here we are going to say okay in the actual sense this was supposed to be a and this was supposed to be b and this was supposed to be c eh? okay just to to uh, make it um, to make it in a way that it agrees with uh, the formula okay we are just trying to make it agree with our formula okay so now that we know we just need to write it we just need to write our formula uh, nicely okay just need to write our formula okay okay so i'm taking time to explain the formula because i know a lot of people are able to answer trigonometry now the only uh, challenge is how they apply the formula that's where the difficulty is okay so we said the capital letters are what? The capital letters are angle Z. Eh? And the angle here is angle R. Okay. And the two sides, you can see the two sides, it will be Q, uh, Q and uh, P. Okay. And uh, the way the triangle was A, so means small letter A will be this one. Eh? So we are going to write our formula as R. Okay. Small letter R. Okay. Is equal to uh, the, uh, the two sides. Q and P. Uh, we are going to write uh, Q, okay, squared, okay. There's a plus uh, P squared, okay, uh, minus two, okay. Uh, so you notice B is just uh, we're just going to write Q P, okay. And then cos you see capital A and there is A here, so this you know it will be capital R. Okay. So that's the formula. Okay. Now the next thing is just to start uh, replacing what we are given. Okay. So we are going to say R squared. Now, what is Q? Q is actually 8.9. Okay, 8.9 uh, squared uh, plus P is what? 12.5. Okay, that is 12.5. Okay, uh, minus 2, then we put uh, 8.9 in brackets to show that we are uh, actually um, multiplying, then uh, 12 point, uh, sorry, that is uh, 12.5, okay. Okay, now the rest is what? Uh, 
cos the angle r is what 130 point point six okay Okay, so now here is what we have. Okay, we've replaced everything now. Uh, the whole process here, you just need to use your calculator uh, to punch uh, this. Okay, so what I normally do, uh, you, you can just write uh, this, okay, just the way it is here. Okay, so you are going to come here and say r squared is equal to, so when we punch this on the calculator, that would be 8.9, okay, you put a square, okay, plus 12.5 uh, uh, squared, okay, and here I'm actually getting uh, 235.46, okay, so you try to do that if you get the same answer, okay, and then this part now, uh, you can write it the way it is, maybe just up to here, then we'll come to that time, eh? okay. So here we're just going to say that um, 2, you write it on the calculator just the way it is, 2 in brackets 8.9, uh, in brackets 12.5, and you get 222.5. Two, two okay, so I get 222.5 two, two cos uh, 30. Okay, so now here, the tricky part here, uh, you can just punch this on the calculator just the way it is eh? okay so here we'll come down we'll say r squared is equal to 235.46 minus okay okay so after doing this just punching it on the calculator it gives us this so now what we'll do here we apply uh, the basic uh, concepts of mathematics where we multiply these two and uh, this will give us um, 235 uh, okay point four six okay now this will give us a plus okay plus what everything now eh? Okay, so that is what we get, and the last thing, you just need to square root this part, and also you square root that part, eh? and here yeah, r will be equal to, now the square root of all that, okay, the square root of all that, when you uh, put it on your calculator, for me it's giving me uh, 19.5, uh, now the rest of the numbers that are coming are zeros, eh? So we can just leave it here, 19.5 uh, centimeters, and that is what R actually is, okay? You can say that, therefore, uh, PQ, okay, PQ is equal to what? 19.5, what? Centimeters. And... This is the answer for this uh, particular question. Very simple, isn't it? Okay, so now we go to the area of triangle PQR. So for the next question, the area of, of triangle PQR, the area of this whole triangle. So the formula that will be given on your uh, exam, it's this one, eh? and you just need to find a way of, uh, so BC, we know BC is Q and R, right? And, uh, the angle R is the angle that we are given here. So we are just going to say, so here uh, we now know that this is actually uh, 19.15, okay? So here we are just going to say that, okay, uh, the area will be equal to uh, one over two in brackets here you can put b uh, that is what uh, 8.99 okay or just to write the formula so that you can uh, follow it nicely uh, so our formula that we are using here is actually um, 
area is equal to half uh, q p okay q p sign what okay sorry for that um, sign sign r okay and this will give us half uh, we can say multiplied by uh, that is what 8.9 multiplied by uh, 12.5 um, can say multiplied by sine 130.6 and then this now you can do everything on the calculator you can punch all the way up to there then you divide the answer by what by two and that's the answer you get here when you um, round off to two decimal places eh? 84.47 a centimeter or two centimeter squared and that leaves us with the last question the shortest distance from r to pq okay so unfortunately the question for this one won't be given in your exam paper okay so the shortest distance from r to q it means when you draw a line from r to pq here okay okay so we're finding the shortest, shortest distance from r to pq which is given by h here so this formula is very uh, very simple it is given by um it's a very simple formula it's given by h okay is equal to two multiplied by the area over b okay now b happens to be the base eh? pq happens to be the base and the area we've already calculated for the area so we can just say okay two multiplied by our area was what 84.47 that was uh, centimeter squared over the base what did we find 19 0.5 so you can see that uh, for such questions where you use your answer in uh, the first question to get to the answer in the next question you need to be careful okay so here we're just going to multiply these okay we're going to say 2 multiplied by 84.47 divided by 19.5 and we get um, 8 point six uh, six okay centimeters okay so this is the shortest distance actually okay that is the height eh? this is the height 8.66 centimeters and that's the shortest distance from r to p q okay so this is what we were supposed to do in this particular um, question i hope a lot of you got this one correctly um, those that are writing this year you can also learn from this eh? okay how to answer such questions